Hello, Chamber members. I'm Ron Hendricks. I'm the president at the Southern Wayne County Regional Chamber of Commerce, and we have a very special treat for you today. Today, I'm going to show you how to update your online directory listing located at swcrc.com. And I have to tell you, being a member of the Chamber is extremely valuable. A recent uh, study actually showed that consumers of, in the general public are more willing to do business uh, with chamber members. It actually is in a figure of about 80% of consumers said that. So it's extremely important that you show that you're the, the public that you're a chamber member and that you keep your directory listing updated. So if you wanna come over here to my computer, I'll show you how to do that. And it's very easy, uh, very user friendly, and it really only takes you a couple of minutes. So come on over. Okay, so again, it's a very easy, very user-friendly uh, format uh, and, and to update your online directory. So what you do is you actually go to your chamber chat email that you get from the Southern Wayne County Regional Chamber of Commerce every week. Uh, it comes out on Tuesday mornings, usually about 8.30 in the morning. So I'm looking at this week's edition of the Chamber Chat, and um, it's a really cool uh, email, by the way. I highly recommend that you look at it. It's got upcoming events, new members, um, what's happening on social media with the Chamber, uh, and ribbon cuttings, and also um, Chamber member news, which, by the way, if you guys ever want to promote anything to the entire membership, please let us know. We'd be very happy to get your news into the weekly Chamber Chat eblast. Uh, so that all being said, what you do is you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the Chamber Chat uh, eblast, and you'll see this little section that says announcing the new online SWCRC business directory. So what you'll do is you'll click the learn more button. Again, very easy. So. Uh, every Tuesday morning, we send out this link in every chamber chat, so you can uh, you don't have to look for a specific chamber chat. You just find that week's chamber chat, scroll up, scroll down to the bottom, and click on the Learn More button. Uh, so here, here I am. I click Learn More, and I'm looking at the um, detailed instructions on how to update your online directory, which is free with your chamber membership. Uh, so you can see here, this is really cool. This is a Goodman, Goodwin, Lademan and Associates Insurance Agency and Taylor, they did a phenomenal job with their directory listing. They have photos, they have uh, their website, um, they have their logo, a picture of their logo, social media links, contact information, their main contacts name listed, all of that good stuff. So you, you can kind of read through this to learn more about what the directory is. Um, but this part of the of the information here tells you how to access the directory if you're maybe a member of the general public uh, or if you're a chamber member and you're looking to do business with other chamber members or looking for a specific service. Uh, you would just go to the membership tab at the top at the swcrc.com homepage uh, and then click on directory. Uh, and that will take you to the membership directory so you can see all of our members uh, listed out by category. So anyways, uh, what we want to do is we want to open up a registration um, or a, a directory listing um, for you so that you can manage and modify your personal directory listing as a chamber member. So, so what you need to do first is register uh, yourself as a user on our website. So you click on this link here, uh, swcrc.com slash chamber registration. So we're going to click on that and it's going to direct us to the Chamber's website where you can register uh, to become a user. So we're just going to type type our name in here. So I'll put my uh, my name in and make sure uh, everything's correct and then I know how to spell my name. And I'll just say uh, create a username here. Uh, create a password. Uh, hmm, should I tell you my password? Eh, probably not. So. I'm just going to create a generic password just for the sake of, of this video. Uh, and this is the really cool part. What you would do under business name is just type the first couple of letters of your business. So ours would be SWCRC, Southern Wayne County Regional Chamber. We'll do SWC and then you would hit the tab button on your keyboard. So you hit tab. And then what happens after you hit tab is this little box right here shows up and it will list out the um, options that you have. And the only option for SWC is the SWCRC. So I would check this, that that is my business. 
uh, and then I would hit register. So we'll let that go through. Um, and what would happen is um, you'll get just a confirmation, just a confirmation that um, your username and your password has been registered into the system. So at this point, what happens is our staff at the chamber gets a uh, email notification telling us that you have registered on the website, uh, and then we will uh, we will approve um, your registration, which usually takes a couple of hours. Um, actually, I'll be honest with you, a lot of times we can do it almost instantly, it, kind of depending on if we're in a meeting or if we're in the office, um, but usually you'll want to give, give us a couple of hours um, to approve that. And then what you'll be able to do once your registration is approved is you'll be able to log in uh, to the website and update your directory listing. Okay, so now what we're going to do, going back to the Chamber Chat e-newsletter, uh, we're going to click on the instructions again just, just to uh, uh, prepare to update our directory listing. Uh, again, now, so you've already registered as a user. Um, we're gonna say maybe it's an hour or two later and you've been approved as a user with the Southern Wayne County Regional Chambers website. Uh, so now you come back and you click on the bottom of this, uh, of the list of instructions here. It says swcrc.com slash chamber directory login. So you click on that link and that's gonna take you to the login page. And this is so cool. And well, you do. Ha it does require you to remember your username and password. So <laughs> that's an important thing to write down. Um, but once you remember your username and password, it's extremely easy to um, update your directory listing. And the cool thing about this is that you can update it as often as you want. If you want to put maybe a weekly um, promotion or weekly weekly coupon or offering. Um, you know, it, whenever you want to update it, you have the freedom to do that. So you can do it in the middle of the night, you can do it in the morning, um, whenever you want. So that's the cool thing. So we, we're logged in and the website automatically takes us to our business page. So if you scroll down here, you can see that uh, it's a very, um, it's a cool page, the Southern Wayne County Regional Chambers directory listing, but it really needs to be updated. There's not a whole lot going on here. We do have a logo, but you know, that's, that's about it. So at the bottom here, it says, hello, Ron, click here to edit your business listing. So I'm gonna click on that link and we're gonna let it load. Uh, and then here it goes to edit business. So you have your business name, uh, which is a permanent uh, name. So if you ever need to change your business name, uh, you can contact the chamber staff and we, we would be very happy to update that for you. Uh, now business description, this is cool. You can update this whenever you want. You can do a special offering. Um, you know, you, you, whatever you want to put in here, you're free to do that. You can play with the formatting and the fonts and, you know, italicize or bold it. Um, you can put some links in here. Here's a little button that says insert link. Um, so that's, that's a really cool feature. If you want to link it directly to your website or link it to uh, maybe a PDF or a coupon or something, a Facebook page, you can definitely do that here. Um, so scroll down. And here you have business categories. So you can choose up to three business categories that you wanna be a part of. Uh, and so the Southern Wayne County Cham Regional Chamber obviously is a Chamber of Commerce. So we have Chamber of Commerce uh, chosen here. Uh, but if you are Bizarre Marketing, uh, you're gonna to wanna to click maybe Marketing Services, or let's see, let's kind of look through the list here. Um, well, they're not a college, maybe communications, that might be a good one for Bizarre Marketing. Um, and maybe entertainment, I don't know. <laughs> but you, you, you get the point, golf, gift baskets, um, you know, government, graphic design, and there, there's quite an extensive list here. Uh, but again, you can choose up to three categories, uh, so that's, that's a really powerful tool. Um, and when, when people go to the business directory and they do a search by category, whatever category you choose, that's where your business is gonna pop up in. So it's extremely important that you choose the, um, the most accurate category that best describes your business. So under categories, you'll see here uh, that we have uh, an option for you to upload a logo. So it's getting towards the end of the Chamber's 50th anniversary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update this logo. So I'm gonna hit choose file and I'm gonna look uh, anywhere on your computer where you have the logo saved. So I'm gonna look up the Chamber's logo, which I happen to have on my desktop, and I'm gonna click on that, and it's going to load. 
So that logo that I'm uploading is actually going to uh, be featured at the very top of my directory listing. Uh, and when I save this page, it's gonna, it's gonna show up. Now, here's a really cool feature to the directory listing, is you can put a featured image. So not a logo, but maybe like a Facebook um, uh, header banner or something along those lines. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna load the Chambers Facebook header banner as our featured image. Okay, so I'm loading the Chambers Facebook header banner as our featured image. Uh, there we go. Now, here we have web address, so you can update your website here. Location name. So this is basically describing your business. So you could put like main office or um, <clears throat> Taylor branch or whatever you wanna put in there. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put Southern Wayne County Regional Chamber World Headquarters. <laughs> I'll just put headquarters for now. Um, and then our, so you can say, do you, do not display this location to public. Now, this is extremely important because if you're a home-based business and you don't want your address listed, which we do have a lot of home-based businesses in the chamber, so we thought it was very important to have this feature. You can check this box and the address that you type in here will not be visible to the general public. It would only be visible to the chamber staff. Uh, so that's, that's key. And that really protects you um, in case you don't want your address listed. So, um, so if I wanted to, I can list you know, the uh, uh, chamber's address here. And um, down here, I can put the phone number. So I'm gonna do that. Because of course, we want people to know how to reach us. And um, let's see, I'm gonna put Jessica Pinto, our membership director, I'm gonna put her email address in here so people know how to reach, um, reach her you know, at the chamber. So jpinto at swcrc.com. Uh, phone number type. So we're going to say that this is our main office, or we can say it's the, uh, I'm sorry, main phone number, or we can say it's the office phone number or the cell phone number. Uh, we're going to say it's our office number. And then the email address type, uh, we're going to say it's um, our main, main uh, email for contacting the chamber. So you can set this as your billing address. If you want, you know, uh, uh, chamber membership due invoices or whatever to go to that address, you would, you would just set it as your billing address. Now here's really important, especially in our modern uh, uh, you know, internet age, you definitely wanna add social media links. So let's go ahead and look up the Chamber's Facebook page. So I'm gonna copy that Facebook link there and then go back to my Edit Business tab uh, and then hit Add Social Media Links. So I'm gonna say I can do any one of these services here. Uh, which we have quite a bit listed. Flickr, um, Google+, Plus, Instagram, LinkedIn, which the Chamber has a lot of these, like I said, so I probably should go ahead and add those. But I'm gonna say Facebook for now, and I'm going to paste the Facebook URL uh, into that um, little category there. And I could add more if I wanted to, but for sure, I, I know I have Facebook, and if I, if I want to add more, I would just hit this Add Social Media Links button there. Um, again, this is the billing address information. Um, you know, I'm just gonna say Set as Billing Address, hit this button, so it should go ahead and copy my address to here so I don't have to worry about that now. Okay, so I'm looking pretty good. I just wanna kinda look over my information again here. Um, and make sure I have everything correct. I updated my business information. If I wanted to put a coupon or a link, I could put that in here. Um, but also I wanna mention, if say you wanna have a, a coupon as your featured image for that week, just upload it right here as your featured image. Um, you know, it has to be a PNG file or uh, you know an image file, um, but just load it here and you're all set. And again, you can update that whenever you want. So feel free to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit, gonna hit, going to hit uh, submit. Okay, here we are. It says your business has been successfully updated. View your business here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. So, you know, this may have been the wrong image to use because it's cut out here at the bottom, or maybe not, maybe, maybe you like it. Um, but this is, this is what it looks like. You have your featured image at the top. You have your logo here. We have our business description, basically describing what we are. Um, and then we have our link to our Facebook page. And again, you can add Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, um, whatever you want. And then we have our 
uh, the name of our location, a link to our website, our office phone number, our email, and then this is a Google map. So if I was to put the correct address in, this would actually show right here where my office is located. And I think that's extremely important. So please make sure you put the wrong or the right address. So that way your office doesn't show up in the middle of the ocean like mine is right now. So, <laughs> um, so that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. Then you, what you can do here is click here to log out or you can say click here, click on click here to edit your business listing. Uh, and then I can go back to making any changes that I want to make. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And again, I strongly encourage you to keep your online directory listing updated weekly. It's an extremely powerful marketing tool. We get thousands and thousands of visitors to the Southern Wayne County Chambers uh, website every single year. So please keep your directory listing updated uh, and looking forward to seeing you soon at a Chamber event.